Hi and welcome back to the WP Video Magic tutorials. In the first video we looked at adding your keys to get things set up. Now we're going to look at adding new videos and categories as well. The first thing you need to do is scroll down and under WP Toolkit Video Magic choose the option for video shortcodes. This will bring you to this page. Now before we go ahead and add new video shortcodes, I'm actually going to add some categories. This is an internet marketing blog, uh, specifically it's about affiliate marketing, blogging, list building, things like that. So those are some of the categories that I'm going to add in here. So we've got affiliate marketing, list building, and I'll also do one more for blogging. And simply click on update categories once you have all the categories that you want added. Now let's go ahead and click on the add new video shortcode which will bring up a new page for us. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do on the add shortcode page is give this particular video a name. So this is a Warrior Plus tutorial video. I'm also going to choose a category from the categories I just set up. I'm going to choose affiliate marketing. Next we choose the source for our video. So we've got the options of our S3 bucket, our CloudFront, or YouTube. Now bear in mind if you use YouTube you need to make sure the video is unlisted not private. If it's private it won't show up at all. If it's unlisted it will only show where you want it to show. Um, it won't show up on your public channel. In this case I'm actually going to go with my S3 bucket and I can then choose which of my buckets I have four set up which of these the video is in. So I'm going to go with Warrior Plus Tutorials then I simply need to click on the browse AWS for file and this will bring up a separate browse window if I pull this back down so you can actually see what's going on. Now as it happens I only have uh, one particular video in this folder but if there were more they would list them all okay and this is directly called from my Amazon Web Services bucket so choose the video I want and that pops it in for me. Okay, now let's scroll down and look at the other settings that we have available further down the page. First of all, you can auto buffer. This simply means the video will start loading up as soon as the page is finished loading, so it'll be ready to play sooner. You also have the option for autoplay, which does as it says. Uh, obviously, bear in mind that is dependent on the particular browser. Some browsers allow it, some don't. Some will autoplay with the sound switched off. It does depend on whether you're using Firefox, Chrome, Opera or any other browser. You also have the option of whether you show the player controls or not. Obviously bear in mind if someone is viewing the video on a browser that doesn't auto play then not showing controls isn't going to be particularly helpful. Uh, generally I have all three of these switched on. And also remember if you are going to use the auto play if you've got more than one video on a page only have the first video auto play otherwise it can get very noisy and confusing. You also have the option to browse and upload your own thumbnail image if you have one. Uh, if not, it will use the thumbnail from the video, uh, but that can allow you to change the thumbnail to whatever you want. You can also specify a particular width and height for the video as well. Now you also have the option for a video event. Now this is basically anything you want in HTML, you pop it in this box, and it will then pop up under the video at however many seconds into the video you choose. Now I'm going to simply have this pop up after the video has been playing for four seconds uh, and it is just a message asking people to click on the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now that extra bit of code here, uh, sub confirmation equals one, is very useful. That's an automated confirmation of subscription to my channel when someone clicks on it. So it'll actually pop up with a subscribe button straight away when they go through. Very useful bit of code. Okay, so that video event will basically pop up whatever you pop in here, uh, whatever HTML or text message you want, it will appear under the video after that many seconds. In other words, a simple but effective call to action. Now you'll notice I've also popped in a width and height because I'm going to put this video on a blog post. So now all I need to do is click on Save Changes. That is our first video code, short code added in to the WP Video Magic plugin. So your video shortcodes will list all the different videos you have set up along with the source, the full file name, and the shortcode itself. Now you do also have the option to edit it so you can go back and change any of the details you need to. You can also look at the stats but we'll look at that in a moment on a different page and if you need to you can always delete that and start again or just delete any that you're no longer using. Now don't worry about having to try and remember what the shortcodes are for your different videos, you don't need to. Let's head across to a blog post that I created earlier so you can see exactly what I mean. So here in this post I have a little placeholder for a video because this is where I want to pop the video into this post. 
All I need to do is find this icon, WP Toolkit Video Magic Shortcode Browser. Let's click on this and it will bring up a box which will display all our different videos with the categories so we can choose which one we need and simply click on insert shortcode and there we go. Our shortcode is straight into our blog post. You do not need to remember what the shortcode is. All we then need to do is click on update to update a new blog post or existing blog post with a new video shortcode from WP Video Magic inserted into it. Okay, so let's head across to that blog post and if I scroll down, you can see there is the video placeholder that I had. So what I'm going to do is hit Control F5 to refresh this page. It'll take a second or two. There's our new video okay, dropping in. And, and there we go. It's auto-playing. I'm going to turn the volume down, turn the volume off. And you saw after four seconds, up pop that little extra box saying, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if we click on that, it takes people through, through to my YouTube channel. And basically that's it. That's how easy it is with WP Video Magic to host your own videos on Amazon, which is really quick and really cheap. You no longer need Wistia or Vimeo or those other expensive video hosting platforms. Now there is one more thing we need to have a look at, which is the stats page. And if I scroll down on the left, we can see we have a page called stats under WP Toolkit Video Magic. And this is what it looks like. This page will list all your videos and how many times they've been watched. Now you'll notice at the moment that is showing a zero for our video, even though we started watching it, but I hit pause before we got to 15 seconds. Basically the system is set up to only count once someone has viewed it for more than 15 seconds. If they haven't, then it doesn't actually count as a view, uh, especially as a lot of the time you may have auto play switched on. If they're switching it off before they've hit 15 seconds, they're not really interested, so it doesn't really count as a view. This is following the same sort of principle as YouTube views. Uh, on YouTube ads, for instance, you don't get charged for an in-stream video view until someone's watched the video for 30 seconds or more. We've got it set to 15 seconds, so it will only show the number of people who've been engaged with your video for 15 seconds or more. And you also have the option to reset those stats if you need to at any time. Okay, that's the tutorial for WP Video Magic. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please feel free to get in touch with us if you have any further questions or you need any help with anything.